The Jim Crow Museum of Racist Memorabilia presents Rube Foster. The greatest baseball pitcher in the country. That is what the best baseball players of the white persuasion that have gone against him say. Rube Foster never had the opportunity to test his skills in the whites only major leagues of baseball. Unable to play in the all-white major leagues, he started his career in Waco, Texas. Andrew Rube, the big Texan Foster, was a talented pitcher and a gifted showman. He played for and managed nearly a dozen Negro League teams across the Midwest and the Northeast. In 1911, he leased the old Chicago White Sox field where he started and owned the Chicago American Giants and dominated the independent Negro baseball leagues. Foster then convinced the other club owners to create the Negro National League in 1920. Foster served as president and treasurer of the league while still being the owner, manager, and sometimes player of his own team. The league flourished as players' salaries, notoriety, and attendance grew to unprecedented levels. The league folded in 1931, a year after his death. It respawned in 1935 and continued through the 1960s, producing Hall of Famers like Willie Mays and Satchel Paige. You may know of the first African American to break the color barrier in the major leagues, Jackie Robinson, or Hank Aaron, the black player that broke Babe Ruth's impossible home run record. Well, they stood on the shoulders of Rube Foster. And here you see Rube Foster, right there, with the other greatest of all time players, coaches, and managers. Rube and others like him paved the way for integration in sports for every black athlete today. 